All right. What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Shout out to my boy Trash. Shout out, shout out. Well, my name is Trash 24-7. You me. It's crazy. It sounds crazy, but I don't know what the problem is. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't know. We got to get you a mic, cuz. It's all good. Anyway, we're about to get into um, J Cinco and Brooklyn Frost, you know what I'm saying, per use. But shout out to my sis voice. What do people react? You dig what I'm saying? Let's get into it. Trey Bills has been out of the drama up until recently. His girlfriend, well, his ex-girlfriend took to social media to put him on blast for cheating. What happened to you and Trey? That is a cheater and a liar. That's what the f*** happened. That suck everybody. That is a Oh, damn. Now tell me what real n***a I'm sorry that happened to you. Yeah, girl, I'll tell you. He said, bring social media into shit whack as F, but you got it. You corny as F for this on live talking about personal-ish. And then he said, cheated, come on, be for real. Being itches you, uh, what? He was being secure the whole time, I don't know. Tell me about it. That's Tell crazy. I know I deserve better. But it's okay, because I'm going to Exactly. All that best friend shit don't mean nothing to a n***a. All that best friend shit. I took this shit that he ain't never seen before. I showed that shit he ain't never did before. Oh. Brooklyn Frost took to social media to call out Justin and Tio. Tell them about how I caught you and Tio in bed. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Brooklyn. Hey, yo. Brooklyn nah, is oh. top tier salty right now. I'm not going to lie. That's Catching crazy. them in bed is crazy. First of all, niggas could have been doing anything. I, catching them in bed, I just... Nah. I, I ain't gonna take that one. I call Cap. I ain't gonna lie. That's, that's, that's wicked. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, I call Cap. I ain't even gonna lie. Bro, so you telling me you seen him do some shit like that, then you just like, okay, we good. I ain't get a party. I don't know, right. bro, like that. Hello. Y'all don't know why they doing that. That's oh. Also, a lot of people were she assuming Justin crazy. was talking about Deshae Frost when he said this. Like, I ain't even want to be on it, but it's my last thing I got to say about that situation. Like, a lot of niggas around me, bro. You feel me? Like, a lot of niggas cameras behind all that shit. A lot of niggas check on me, bro. A lot of niggas make sure, make sure to clear my name for me when they when they first hand me seeing shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like. It, look, it make you look at them like, like damn, I, I keep telling y'all, these niggas want people to talk about it. So somebody in the yeah. comments said something about like, oh, you feel some type of way because Jay Cinco said something about uh, we gonna make our reaction videos. If y'all only knew how much of a fuck I never gave, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Y'all, y'all gotta understand, people. When they come to the internet and they keep doing this, they want us to talk about it. That's what they want us to do. And guess like, what? what? I'm going to do it every, every time. Every time. time. What you mean? Every time. Nigga said my, my people ain't say nothing. What you want them to do? Make a video? Because how would people know? So That's the only way. <laughs> I'm over here semi holding you down because I don't necessarily. The stories just be kind of out of whack. No. Yeah. <laughs> we doing what we can. You feel me? Like, damn, I damn sure don't think you gay. Tell you, you that. Because I be there for everybody on everything. I be there for every <laughs> bro. Every bro on my show. Any video I will give, boy, I push shit back for people. Like, I got you. I pop out. I may not even make that difference to a channel. You feel me? I may not even make that difference to a video. But it's like, I'm going to show you. I support you. You feel me? Like, I support you. Because when I need you, I want you to pop through. But that's how it don't be. Like, you pop through when, they need, when you need them. People only pop through when, like, now let's talk about Carmen and Corey because recently okay. they were called out by their personal chef of bad business. According to her, she said it took weeks before she received the actual payment. And when she did receive a payment, it was only six hundred dollars. Mm. Now she said during the weeks that she was working, she was cooking for fifteen people. And it took about what? a month Damn. just to receive a payment and it was only six hundred dollars. Oh, now she's saying that she was supposed no. to get way more than that, and it took a lot of back and forth before she received full payment, but she ended up being let go. But a lot of the supporters were wondering, was a contract put in place? Was she Hello, receive your payment yeah. first, huh? Mm -hmm. I, ain't real, real. I ain't cooking a motherfucking chicken wing yeah. until y'all give me my money. But and I'm then you talking about 14 people? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've learned that over time. You learn it over time. You know, we go through our, our fuck shit first, but yeah. you learn it over time. She does explain this in her yeah. second video. And also, Carmen and Corey addressed the situation as well. Here's what she had to say, and then I'm going to play Carmen and Corey. I'm here to clear up everything y'all need to know. First off, I want to start by saying thank y'all so much for all the support. It's greatly appreciated. Okay. And we just going to dive right into mm -hmm. it. I yeah, didn't know yeah. how much I was getting paid. We came up with an agreement, and that was my pay. And that's how what? my bills came in the conversation. Um, he asked me how much my bills was, and we kind of put the pay around how much my bills was. And it was like a couple more thousand, I guess. And the niggas just and wanted thing, to pay they you kind of both played different roles. He was like mm -hmm. kind of the one that handled the money, right. I guess. And she was just like communicated. She just communicated. So contract no we did not sign a contract that was the biggest mistake i ever could have did in my life that's a fact mm -hmm. yeah, basically a verbal agreement which was not smart because when it was time for me to get paid that verbal agreement went out the door i had no proof that he said this and he said that because Dang. one thing about a couple they gonna stick together <laughs> okay so that was a big mistake on my end um i did talk to her about a contract i was like um when will i get everything you're writing about my pay about my uh day i will be getting paid when it's payroll i did communicate that with her so lesson. many times and she always let mm -hmm. me know that he was busy and she was gonna get to it oh. she always reassured me that i was gonna get paid that was good no money problems they having it and i never originally was supposed to cook for that many people maybe karma had intentions on her getting paid but Carmen ain't the one with the money i keep telling y'all that he got all yeah, the that's crazy. Well, all right. 10 to 15 people, it was never, that was never part of the agreement. It was supposed to be no more than four people I was cooking for. Only reason I did the free trial was for them to taste my food on November the 25th. I wanted them to taste my food so they could see if they liked it. I didn't want nobody to hire me if they didn't like my food. So that was really it. That was where I did the trial, so. And I want to talk about the $600. Um, So she sent me the $600. She basically said that was my pay um because she was sending money for the food so she would reimburse me for the food and i guess with reimburse me for the food she thought she was paying me and reimbursement so, for the food is she crazy said that. first of all and the I'm, last question yeah. that I kept asking, i'm not going to the grocery store until you give me the money for the grocery you get what i'm saying that's not coming nah, out of for my sure. pocket and then i'm gonna nah. put extra on that motherfucker for my gas my time yeah, mm -hmm. fuck all that. That shit crazy. And did I keep the chain? I did ask him, did he want the chain back? He said, no, I can keep it. And then we had, he said something else, a few more words. And I was like, all right, I kept the chain. I got the chain. And no, I did not pawn the chain. Um, the reason for me not pawning the chain was because I wasn't going to really get no money for the chain. Um, it was real, but was it, it real? wasn't like worth nothing if it ain't like gold it ain't worth it it was like uh it was like they basically just paid for the labor of those chains um so like the value of it is not really much one thing i do want to say this was a lesson learned um, if it was gold that would have been lit this taught mm -hmm. me a valuable lesson um i'm so glad i'm talking about it because i never thought in a million years i would want to cook again because this experience traumatized me like oh, i man. was super depressed about nah, it you i just was gotta like get your Dang, business i just lost together, my dream friend. job mm -hmm. or something that i was told that, to do. for sure um, and it was like how it got played against me like i was the problem like they never told me to do these things or <laughs> they never said these things i was too excited I was I was just on a trial run. It was just like so many things that were said that was like they didn't make sense in the moment. It was like what? Like huh? But okay. I am greatly I am I'm grateful for the opportunity. It was amazing. And I'm gonna just show y'all some of the meals I did cook for them. Okay. Philly cheese meal prep. Mm. That shit don't look good at all. I ain't gonna lie. That did. That, that's what, that, yeah, that. Okay, that look good. Yeah. yeah, I was cooking, cooking. Ooh. Yeah, that looks good. Why you keep oh, saying it's a G? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Shit, no. my God, you be wanting to cook for us, so you're so oh. excited. I've been trying to cook for y'all my whole life. Like, That's crazy. But listen, but what I'm saying, but listen. Let's sit down. That's y'all TV that loud? That shit crazy. Can you listen? Can you listen for, to me? Because all I'm saying to you is, 
It's just a trial. This is not an official thing. Listen, we have to see how you work and to see how everybody likes the food. This is not even on the whole chef outfit. Okay. For no, <laughs> how much do you charge for cooking? Oh, right now I don't have a set price because I've been. What you mean you don't have a set price? You're supposed to have a set price if you want to work with us. Then let me cook. But I buy. I'm buying the food. I'm buying the food, so don't waste the food. No, I paid my money for this. Oh, now, you okay. Wet? Yeah, they trolling okay. them. You pay, huh? I paid my money for this school. It's okay. I paid my money. I know. It's okay. You be here for one. And people do do that. I'm not going to lie. When people tell me, I do it for you for free. Now? Oh, fuck. No, you're not. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. You're not doing it for free. Yeah. Because when they don't get the clout that they want, when they don't get uh whatever it is that they want, they will expose your ass for nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nah. Girl, this, this court, this, and you telling me you quit your job? How you quit your job your first day? I'm telling you, it's a trial. Court, you now like she quit her job. job. Oh wow, that was a different story. Don't do like that. How many people are you cooking for? I'm cooking for like my first five people. Oh, because you're a chef, right? You're supposed to cook for a lot of people, right? Huh? Yeah, or you, oh, you only know how to cook for just two people. Huh? Yeah, so I, 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 I cook for two people. But, but I cook shit. for everybody. Nah, that's weird. You went? Yeah. Hell, nah. This video I reported that Carnation and Kamari are now going to the same school and on the girls first day of school they had a problem with each other. Now according to Royalty's video Carnation allegedly told her friend not to be friends with Kamari. Kamari told her parents and CJ called Royalty. Well Nike is addressing the situation because Royalty did drop a video. Here's what she had to say. But what y'all not gonna do is say um she's up Kamari's upset because she didn't want to be her friend because that's not how it went. Kamari said she seen her and she looked her up and down and Kamari did the same in return, looked her up and down and they went separate ways. It wasn't until the best friend <clears throat> wanted to be friends with Kamari and I guess Nation didn't want the best friend to be Kamari's friend and the friend relayed that message to Kamari and said, well, Nation don't want me to be your friend, but I want to be your friend. And mm. I told my daughter, you can be friends with anybody. Ain't nobody, she don't run her. She don't have control over nothing and no... For the one so, cause, cause you ain't paying attention at all. Yes, I am. I am. I am. Uh, Nike and royalty kids going to the same school now when they was beefing, and now the yes, kids I'm is beefing. That's super. Tough. So, because them <laughs> niggas live five minutes up the street from each other and shit. Yeah. And, uh, royalty daughter told. Her best friend not to be friends with CJ's daughter. This shit so damn. I'm a reaction. Nah, that's to it. Like, I can't make that's nobody. Weird. I ain't making my child be be friends with nobody. I'm not making my child talk to anybody. If my child wants to be friends with a certain somebody that's friends with somebody else, it can be done. Y'all don't have to talk. Y'all don't have to hang out with each other. When you went, when she with you, that's your friend. And when she over there, that's her friend. At the end of the day, we don't get down like that because one thing for sure, two things for certain, I stand on all 10 by myself and I tell my daughter all the time, you don't need friends. Let's keep it all the way 100 because y'all know me. I ain't going to get on here and cap and I'm not going to get on here and rap and lie. I'm going to keep it 100. And that over there, cap. Big cap. Other side. All the way mm. cap. Big cap. Well, Rosie also dropped another video. Here's what she had to say. I don't understand why people were so mad for somebody's decision of how they <laughs> feel on things. Bro, and, you know, you like, like, crazy as hell. like I said, Nation has her own way of thinking. Nation has her own thoughts. Nation can clearly see what goes on. I mean, my kids are not little anymore. They're they're practically teens let's just say that i would be when exhausted I see people trying to of this shit say stuff about oh i should have been a better parent about the situation what do y'all want me to do what do y'all want me to do sugarcoat it what y'all want me to do be a kiss ass what do y'all really want i'm sorry i'm not none of those things oh, i don't even want to watch that no nah, uh, about being huh <laughs> no nah, i said being bothered as a person is crazy i just i can't Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to react to um, Roy Ten, Nike, and Kamari, and all of that. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to react to that. Cuz uh, ain't gonna be here because he, he ain't paying that shit no attention. <laughs> I think because you just don't know about it, but yeah, y'all let yeah. me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah, yeah.